Hey Randy, this is Bob. Hopefully we can uh, help you a lot, out a little bit with that cabinet and the face frame. Here's a, the entertainment center that I made and the face frame that goes on it. Now, <clears throat> I'm assuming you did something like this because you said that your face frame was off to the side, but if you wanted to move it in place, how do you do it? Uh, first thing is I'm not sure if you're familiar with groups and if once you create a piece you make it into a group or not. Uh, so I'm going to assume you did not. Uh, so I'll show you real quick on how to do a group. If you do know this, then I apologize for insulting your intelligence. But, you know, here's a here's a, a piece of wood. Let's say that's part of your face frame. And you have it to, to size or whatever. And let's say we make it uh, 0.5. It's a half inch. It's off a wide face frame. But it's a half inch. So there's there's your face frame, part of your face frame drawn up. At this point, if you take your move tool and try to move it, okay, you're going to get all kind of weird stuff happening. Okay, so uh, obviously you don't want to do that. What you want to do is first make this into a group. And the easiest way to do that is use your select tool and just make sure you get the whole thing in there so everything is blue. And do an edit, make it a group. And then at that point, now everything will move real nice for you. So the first part is, as you make pieces to your project, make it into a group. It just makes it a lot easier to move. Uh, so I'm going to delete that and go back home here. So here's my face frame, and I did that. I, I created this piece. No, I don't care about that. Um, I created that piece, the, the, the cross members, this other piece. And they're all individual pieces, and each one of these is a group. But now what I want to do is I want to take the whole thing, highlight, edit, and make it a group. Okay, now if I go to move it, the whole thing moves. So that's the first step. Make them into groups. It'll make your life a lot easier. Now, the, the other neat thing with, with the move function is uh, you can go point to point. So I know that this bottom point right there, okay, I want to match up with the bottom point on my cabinet over here. So and I'm just using my mouse key to zoom in. And if I use my move tool and I go right on that point, click on it and roll out. And then roll in, oops. Roll in so I can see my point. Pardon my, okay, there's my point there. And I take that point, which is the face frame point, and put it right on the point. It'll come up and say end point in group. So now I know I'm on the end point of my cabinet. And I hit click, and it'll move it there. Hit my home button again and zoom out. And now my face frame is in position. So, okay. That's really all there is to it. Uh, the other thing you you'll, you should get to learn to know is is the uh, is layers. Uh, if I put all my layers back on, because you can turn them off, it makes it a lot easier to work with. If I can turn all my layers back on now and see the full scope of what the project looked like, so and there it is. So anyway, hopefully that helped with moving the uh, the face frame for you. Let me know how it worked out. See ya.